in this last video we're going to look at the different factors that can affect photosynthesis, can make photosynthesis speed up or slow down depending on um, one or more of these factors. So the first one that we're going to look at is water. We know that water is a key ingredient to photosynthesis. If we were to have a drought or some type of shortage of water, then we can expect that photosynthesis will slow down, or if the drought is long enough, could eventually stop photosynthesis altogether, which means that the plant is no longer making food and it is going to have to live off whatever it has stored up. And then during the winter time, that can be very dangerous. If the storage isn't there to survive the winter, then the, you could see quite a few plants die throughout the winter months. So water is a key, a key component. For plants that live in dry conditions, like how in the world does a cactus survive? It lives in the desert, it barely rains there. Uh, they have some unique characteristics that allow them to survive, and one of them is that, one, their leaf is the needle, so their leaves don't look at all like the leaves that we have here on our trees. And they also have a very uh, thick waxy coating that's on the outside of that, and that waxy coating helps prevent water loss. We have quite a lot of evaporation that happens. That's why we have so much humidity in the summertime. This water that's in the air, uh, they don't have that in those real dry areas uh, out west, and that's because they don't have a lot of water from their plants and things that evaporate up into the air. So water is a factor. A second one is temperature. So plants function best between 0 and 35 degrees Celsius. Now that's Celsius, that's not our Fahrenheit scale. Um, so this is one that we're not as familiar with. Familiar with, excuse me. The temperature, what happens is we know that enzymes are affected by temperature and pH, but we're dealing with temperature right now. Now enzymes are part of plants too. So if our temperature gets above or below this range, then the enzymes that are in the plant aren't going to work as well. And so photosynthesis also does not work as well due to these enzymes not playing their part or doing their part. So we can see a, a speed change here of how much food can get made. And this last one is light intensity. So on really beautiful bright days, no clouds in the sky, we can see, well we can't actually see with our eyes the photosynthesis happening, but the plant will increase its rate of photosynthesis. In other words, its speed, how quickly can it do this? And um, it can create more food on a very bright sunny day versus a overcast, rainy, um, what we would consider maybe yucky days. So. Uh, this is important though to, to an extent. Plants are not machines. You are not going to be able to put them in bright sunlight and expect them to increase their food production forever. So plants will kind of make more and more and more food. Eventually though you're going to reach this plateau. And this plateau says, um, you know, just like if your parents wanted you to do chores around the house, there's only so much work you can get done in 24 hours. And then at that point, you know, you've kind of leveled off. You can't produce any more work. You are finished. Plants will do the same thing. They can only make so much food in, in a 24-hour time period. It doesn't matter how bright and sunny it is. Eventually, they do reach their maximum amount, and they can't do any more work you know, in that 24 hours. So those three are important. You'll expect to see those on the test, water, temperature, and light intensity.